Praise the Lord Saints, it's Frederick Hangold here with a new first video tutorial on how to run equipment at church. I'm your host, Brother Emmanuel Johnson. Let's get to it. Now, uh, lately we've been having problem with this old broadcaster, XSplit Broadcaster. Okay, and there's some problems with XSplit Broadcaster. Like it's not stable, it doesn't run on the Mac, and it, it's really complicated to use. As opposed to the new OBS Studio, which we will now be using. Yeah, all right, settle down. All right, now OBS Studio stands for Open Broadcast Software. It's free. Uh, it also um, it's also PC and Mac compatible. So say uh, we our Windows at Church crashes, then we also can just uh, use the Mac at Church to go ahead and live stream. Okay. Now when you um, also this is really simple to use. Now when you go to church uh, and you go into the Windows computer, it's right, it's just gonna say live stream software. All right. And so um, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have uh, it's gonna have this uh, little black circle looking thing on it, and it's gonna be right in the middle of the screen, just like so. Okay, so let's click on it and let's get started. Let's keep the video short and sweet, shall we? I know you guys like that. All right, so let's get to it. Let's maximize the screen. Alright, so you guys may have some questions like, uh, well, how do you start streaming? How do you start recording? And how do you view the video? Because right now all I see is a logo. Well, it's pretty easy, okay? Now on the right side, you have start streaming, okay? That starts streaming, but then you have start recording. And start recording doesn't stream, it just uh, records locally onto the hard drive. Okay, and that's useful if, uh, say, the church internet is out and we can't stream, so then we can still record. Okay, um, you just want to make sure you hit start streaming as opposed to start recording and a way to make sure you do that is when you click on one of these it'll say stop recording or stop streaming and when it says that that means that you're either recording or streaming. Okay, isn't that nice? Alright, so here you have your scenes, okay, and basically the scenes are basically uh, playlists and uh, the playlist, alright, just like how you have iTunes and you have the different playlists. Uh, these are also your different playlist, okay? And now in each playlist, um, you have a, a scene, you have a song, or you have a, a source, okay? So the logo scene automatically cues the logo source. Uh, the black screen doesn't have anything, okay? And that's because if you want to fade to black, you can. The technical difficulty screen uh, is just an image saying, uh, please stand by technical difficulties. Uh, and that's useful if uh, say we need to cut the audio for something or uh, say um, or say we actually are having technical difficulties it's just a good way to let our viewers know that hey we're still live streaming don't go away yet we're gonna fix the issue very quickly all right so uh, and then the last thing you have is video or live video as it's called on church okay um, and so what you have here is I actually put in a video of uh, the end of one of our church services so that way you can just feel like okay we're actually live uh, that we're at, you can actually f get the feel like okay we're at church now okay so uh, what I'm the next thing I'm gonna show you uh, is real simple okay now you know how to uh, start the live stream and you know how to switch scenes and such all right uh, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to uh, mess with the audio okay and so how you do that is uh, uh, you have this new this other box right here the last box to go over really which is mixer okay and what mixer is basically is it's just all the audio that uh, you would have playing through uh, through the open broadcast software all right um, now what you want to make sure is you want to make sure everything is muted except for what you're using okay and so everything you see here you want to make sure that is on so uh, let's see you see video capture device you want to make sure that's on that is on no audio is coming through but that's all right you still want it on anyway then you have audio input capture uh you want to make sure that audio is coming in from here okay you can turn up and down the volumes as well if say if somebody says the live stream is too loud you can do that um and then last but not least you have the uh, media source 
Uh, this you won't see at church because this is actually the video we're using, but you could also turn this up and down as you please, okay? And so um, that's just basically how to use OBS. Um, now the, the longer video basically shows you how to troubleshoot OBS, how to fix things. Say you accidentally delete one of these, how do you get it back? Okay, and that's what that uh, next video is all about. So thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, this is Brother Emmanuel Johnson here with a nice video on how to